Hi, Viola Rose here, and I'm coming on to make a follow-up video to the original Zen Cleanse video that I made last year with uh, pictures and talking about my experience using Zen Cleanse. And I've done a lot more cleansing since then and even released a gallstone like an inch and a half long. And so I wanted to make another follow-up video talking about everything that I did and how it's gone and my follow-up ultrasound that I got for my liver and gallbladder and issues and uh, just kind of report. So I've got more pictures to show you and um, let's go. It's going to be graphic. I'm going to show you images of what came out of me. So fair warning there. And you can go back and watch my original 15 minute video that I made after I did two rounds of Zen cleansing. And um, I'll post a link to that in the comments below. And so just to recap a little bit, my first video talked about how I, about maybe almost, almost two years ago now, accidentally, I was having an ultrasound for a different reason and accidentally stumbled upon the fact that I had a compacted gallbladder that was so full of gallstones that it was starting to become like a porcelain gallbladder, which means like the skin around the outside of it was hardening because of all the gallstones in there. And I had gallstones in my in my bile ducts. And also I had three lesions on my liver that were some ma mass formations of something. And they didn't know what, if it was cancerous or not. I did a follow-up MRI. And then after that, I stopped doing any testing or their protocols because they wanted to either take out my gallbladder or permanently snip the bile ducts and do weird stuff. And I just thought I'll find a natural solution. My naturopath told me don't do any liver and gallbladder flushing because my gallstones were too big to safely pass with flushing. So I wasn't planning on doing that, but then I stumbled upon a company called Zen Cleanse that does uh, enzyme cleanses. And they have an intestinal cleanse and they have a liver and gallbladder cleanse. And now they also have a kidney cleanse and a 28 day lung cleanse and a week long lymph and blood cleanse. So they have kind of based on Chinese medicine with all the five elements of the body that you can restore completely. So I've mostly worked with the intestinal cleanse, which they call the one cleanse and the liver and gallbladder cleanse, which is called the forgive cleanse. And for an example, here is a box of the forgive cleanse. I mean, they're just beautiful. And they've got like a little intention on the inside. And then they've got like all this liquid enzymes and um, the enzymes are the magic. And the enzymes are three year long fermented enzymes, fruits and vegetables that have been fermented for three years and had Buddhist sutras played to them the whole time. They're just like magic. It's enzymes on steroids. And I have done a lot of cleansing and fasting and different protocols in my life. And I've never found anything as profound and as effective as Zen cleanse. So I'm a huge fan. And over the past uh, year and a half, I have done a lot of it. I have done four intestinal cleanses and nine liver and gallbladder flushes. And I've done a three week fast on just the liquid enzymes. So they have these kits, but then they also have just bottles of enzymes that you can buy and um, sustain yourself on them. And since they're pre-digested, you can take them while fasting. And so it's like you're in a kind of water fasting state, but you're actually getting calories from these enzymes. And so I did that for three whole weeks and that was profound. And um, so the, the video that I made originally, which is 15 minutes long, is pictures of after I've done two, two times of the, the cleanses and reporting about that. So I wanted to do this follow-up video to show more. Uh, and so I proceeded to do a total of, like I said, nine liver and gallbladder flushes because I had this compacted liver. I mean, the compact gallbladder. And so I really wanted to get to the heart of the matter. And after I did um, six, I went for another ultrasound. And that was amazing because my liver was now clear. I didn't have any more lesions on my liver. And so when I, you'll see it in the pictures that I'm going to show you shortly. But when I did these liver and gallbladder flushes, the first time I did it, I didn't get hardly any gallstones out. It was all this sandy sludge like fat fatty liver like just like all this gritty sandy sludge that came out of my liver and i had to get through that layer like the the mixture kind of had to make its way and clear that and then i started to get gallstones out uh, more and more and then toward the end now i'm just getting gallstones out and there's no more sludge from my liver my liver is clear 
it's got nothing on it. And the ultrasound even said that. It did say I still have some gallstones. I'm still working to clear those. So I don't know, maybe I need a dozen of those cleanses. It can take a lot. And I'm gonna show you pictures of what a really a compacted gallbladder looks like. So you'll see that there's thousands of stones in there in a full gallbladder. So I did the, the intestinal cleanses as well because there's a cleanse they have called the rainbow cleanse, which is a combination of the intestinal cleanse, the one cleanse on the first day. And then on the, se the sixth day, you do the liver gallbladder flush and in between you just take their enzymes. So kind of for the first four rounds, I was always doing the intestinal cleanse first and then the liver and gallbladder. And then there was nothing else coming out of my intestines. And so that was done in clear. So I just moved forward with doing the uh, liver and gallbladder cleanses after that. So let's get into the, the graphic photos. Um, let's see, I'm gonna use these readers and uh, let's do some screen sharing. So let's talk about the liver and gallbladder first. So uh, let's see, right here, let's open this up more. I'm not sure if this is the image that is sharing. So let me start that again. You are screen sharing. Good, I wanna share this image with you. Okay, so here is what a compacted gallbladder looks like. So here's a gallbladder and uh, uh, this is kind of so much like what was coming out of me. I didn't get the black stones, but those are kind of really just dark green. I had a lot of green ones. And there's another image I have here that shows various gallstones and what they look like. And I had some, like I said, some really big ones like this too. So the first time I did it, this is what came out of me. This is if sandy sludge, fatty sludge, and it's tan in color. And if I were to poke at these with a chopstick or something, they would just crumble. It's all very crumbly. And you can see here, look at this, a couple little gallstones just starting to come out. But first I needed to make through that layer. And this is all the gallstones that came out in that first round. That was it. Uh, so then I did it a second time. And then the second time you can see, look at this, there's still tons of this sandy gritty sludge coming out of my liver, but starting to get more gallstones and a bigger one too. I even uh, washed one off. You can wash them off with hot water and get that outer layer of gunk off it. And that's how big this one was. That was pretty impressive. I was excited. I made a video about it, but then it just gets so much better as we go along. So the third time I did it, uh, I had more gallstones, more medium-sized ones too. You know, in the beginning, it was these little tiny guys because if your gallbladder is compacted, you know, first those little bits are going to come out and th then it frees up more room. And then maybe the next time you do it, there's a little bit more breathing room in there. And so maybe a little bit bigger ones come out. So there's a whole process. And look at, notice that there's no sandy sludge that came out <laughs> at this time. I, I had cleared all that. The fourth time, that's all I had. It was a very small... Uh, release. And so it can vary. Sometimes you can get a lot up, sometimes not enough. So you just have to keep going. And then now here's where it gets exciting. I had heard on the Telegram forum because in the Zen, Zen Cleanse has a Telegram forum that talks all about uh, everyone who's cleansing and asking questions and whatnot. But the idea from the owner of the company said, what happens if you do two of these liver flush kits two days in a row? Like it just profound how much it keeps open and you release a lot. So I did this and this is what happened. I got so much out of from, from gallstones and look at how big some of these are. So here's the biggest one and that's one and a half inches that came out of me. And I even rinsed it off with hot water so that you could see it in my hand. Oh my God. And you know what? It released with no pain whatsoever. This is the, what the naturopath said I shouldn't be doing because it was too big, but the enzymes that you take in these cleanses open up all the bile ducts and make it super easy to flush out these gallstones. Now there's other ways you can do gallstone flushing, right? And it involves drinking um, apple juice or taking malic acid for a week to soften the stones and then drinking a bunch of Epsom salts so that you can uh, open the ducts and then you drink the olive oil and lemon juice and flush out the system. It's really intense on my system to drink that much salt and I don't like doing those kinds of cleanses and these don't involve that at all. These involve enzymes that open everything up and so that was amazing and uh, then the next then I did another one and I was was not getting too much out and then one more and one more. And so that is um, the total 
uh, result of doing all these liver uh, flushes, and gallbladder flushes. So my liver is great, my gallbladder is getting there. And so that's super exciting. So now I want to talk about uh, the journey that I did with doing their intestinal cleanse, their one cleanse, because that is also pretty darn exciting as well. Okay, so let's go here. The first time I did this cleanse, this is what came out of me, the intestinal cleanse. It's a one day cleanse. You drink all these enzymes in one day, and then the next day or a couple days after, whenever your bowels are ready to move, all this stuff comes out. It's crazy. And I have done a rise and shine cleanse. I've done a juva cleanse. It takes like a month long to soften up all the hardened mucoid plaque. And um, years ago I did those and they were slightly effective. You know, they were, they were did good, but this was a one day cleanse and all this hardened rubber like hollow um, lining came out from my intestines and not just my large intestine, which you can see here, the colon, but also in the small intestines. And so this is what's interesting. People are like, oh, my colon's clean. I went and had a colonoscopy and it was clean in there and clear. But that's that's just the colon. No matter how many enemas you do or colon cleansing or anything, that's the colon cleansing. And you can't get up into the small intestine. And so the only way is to cleanse from down in. And this actually gets in there and was break, breaking up and taking out the hardened mucoid plaque from my colon, which the first ultrasound that I had also revealed that I had a, con, a compacted colon, which I was totally surprised about because I live such a healthy lifestyle and do all kinds of protocols. But you know, we all live in this world and uh, it's a toxic world and it slows some systems down more than others. And so I just had this all this stuff in there. So then I proceed to do it uh, a second time. And this is what comes out. Look at all the fat, like this is all fatty deposits inside of my small intestines. And you can see all the hardened stuff. And then there's like the little, the little bumps here of like where the small intestines are doing their thing. And there's, if I poked around in there, there were hard gray, like old compacted matter that was stuck inside there. Uh, for years <laughs> coming out. And so that was great. And then uh, like you can see here, like and I had been fasting for, you know, a few days before this. So it wasn't just like food in my system, but like, look at this hard old stuff. I know it's gross to look at, but this could be really valuable for somebody who really wants to do these cleanses. And then you're gonna be looking at your own and then seeing what's come out of you and being your own like sort of researcher. So you can kind of get, get used to it now by looking at mine. <laughs> Okay, so this is the third time I did it. And look at this. This is like exactly my small intestines. It was just this hardened stuff that freed up all this space now in my small intestine. And so then, and then that was kind of all of it. Um, you know, it's like what, 28 feet or something for your small intestine. I did it a fourth time and hardly anything came out. It was just like the soft product that you take. And that's how you know the difference. Like, cause it was like, yeah, just kind of soft and squishy and it was just product. And so I knew that I was done. And I had heard the owner say of, of the company that it could take three to four times to really clean out your colon. So then I just moved forward doing the uh, liver flushes. And then only recently, almost a year later, did I just do another intestinal cleanse to see like how long does it take to build up? And you know, there was hardly anything that came out. Uh, again, not even photo worthy. I should have taken a picture anyway. Uh, so what I think moving forward is once a year or once in every year and a half, because I eat so clean, um, I'm going to do another intestinal cleanse just to keep myself from getting to that point of being clogged up again. So like yearly maintenance uh, with this uh, stuff. So, and I'm going to continue to do a couple more of these liver and gallbladder flushes until also nothing comes out and then I'm done. So I you know, um, have had such great results with Zen Cleanse that of course I've become an affiliate for them and I help people to get their cleanses and answer any questions that you might have, chat on the phone about which products you might need and also am available after if you uh, have questions or qu during the instructions or anything like that, I can help you out. And after a person orders, I send an email with tons of helpful information and links. And I also have a coupon code because, uh, I'm willing to give 5% of my little commission that I make to give a coupon code. And that also makes sure that the, the sale gets kind of credited toward me uh, as well. So let me show you um, my coupon code. It's quite simple. It's just my name, uh, zencleanse.com is the website. And my referral code is 
Viola Rose, and that gives you 5% off your order, any order, first time orders, repeat orders, it's kind of a permanent code. And um, it may not sound like a lot, 5%, but these cleanses aren't cheap either. They're, you know, if you do the whole week long cleanse, it's $600. And so that's $30 off. So that actually does make a difference. And it may seem like a lot, but these are really three year long fermented enzymes. And they do the work in a day that it can take other products a month to do. So in the end, the, the cost didn't really seem that outrageous to me at all because it's doing it so fast. <laughs> and to, to have the luxury of to be able to cleanse with ease and grace and not kind of struggle through it and have to do stuff for like weeks and weeks and then the liver flushing is so much easier and it's simple on my system. So I just wanted to talk about it, recommend it, uh, make myself available for support if you do order underneath me uh, and and just encourage you to keep cleansing because you know this is what we got like I feel like yes we're all on our spiritual paths and whatnot and I just can't separate my spiritual path from this physical body this is the vessel that I am here coming through into this dimension to do whatever work I'm here to do so I am really committed to being as healthy as I can um, so that I can just let more light through and be vital and vibrant. So I wish the same for you and the inspiration. May you catch it and cleanse in whatever way is best for you. Okay, much love. Bye-bye.